all I had was a bag of chips. I'm literally about to die. Not only am I an eight to 10 hour sleeper, I am a, a gallon a day water drinker, I am a protein shake in the morning girl, I am a maca root, freaking cacao powder, collagen peptides, almond milk drinker, I am a yoga mom, I am all of these things, and so having three hours of sleep, getting in two hours of traffic, getting on campus, not having anything healthy to eat, we get into the cafeteria, go to the sports bar, gotta get something fast, right? That's the thing. You always gotta get something fast and we just get some fries. Because fries are very different from potato chips, right? Not at all. So now I'm on this fried potato diet. I have luckily one bottle of water today, and I'm about to die. And now I have to talk to you like I have some sort of sense. And I have to talk to you and work right now as I know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I cannot think clearly. I'm doing this. I'm flying by the seat of my pants. And I just thought to myself, and I just said to Tom, I'm the best example of the talk I need to give today. Because even though this is just a one-time thing for me, this is how a lot of you or a lot of other people live every single day not getting enough sleep, not drinking enough water, rushing into traffic to get to where you gotta go. You guys are in school, you guys have jobs, some of you may have kids, you may have siblings, you have family, you got this, you got that, and you do this every single day. How many hours of sleep do you get on average? Anybody get eight? Holy crap, one person says he gets eight. How often, do you, everybody looks at you like, <laughs>
that if you were able to get eight full hours of sleep every single night, except for like the weekends, of course, as you know, weekends, right? <laughs> so let's say Monday through Friday, or days that you have had to get eight hours of sleep, you are carrying your water on these gentlemen here in the back, so you always have your water. I see you have grapes, by the way. Um, and you're always either eating your water or drinking your water, so you're getting lots of water a day. And if all your food choices were healthy, food choices meaning, at least for the time being, you know, so you guys do get some healthy stuff on campus, you're not eating on campus because my only thing was french fries today, just to keep me going. That's all I could find on campus that was fast, easy, and so I can get here. What if you guys had healthier food choices? Do you think that that would make you feel better? Looking too expensive. <laughs> Okay, let's get to that. So, there's this idea that healthy food has to cost a lot of money. Let me explain this to you. A, a slice of pizza on campus is $3.50. That's expensive. A slice of pizza should be more than 99 cents. Okay? So there aren't overcharging you on campus for everything that you get. Let's say you're not on campus, you're eating off campus. There is this idea that eating healthy is more expensive. That is a lot. That is complete and total. I spend less on my groceries and I'm feeding three people. Two of them are grown men. I spend less on my groceries than most adults spend on fast food on a monthly basis. I spend no more than $200 a month on organic fresh groceries. For three adult people, your face in the back is like, ha, how sway, ha, I see your face. Instantly, I want you to know that you can and should be healthier, make healthier food and beverage choices. If for no other reason, so that your cognitive uh, operations are at, at, at optimum, right? And you learn better, you retain better. Therefore, you can teach better, you be better at your jobs. And the reason why I want you to do that, especially for those of you who are going into healthcare or any kind of service at all, is so that you can teach other people how to do it also. Let's reverse engineer that. <clears throat> you walk into Trader Joe's, there's so much organic and healthy food there, and other foods, box, box foods like pasta, rices, $2.99, $3.99. Anybody ever went to Trader Joe's? Right? Super inexpensive. Those of you who, anybody here doesn't eat meat? Okay, so those of you, this <laughs> one, sometimes. Those of you who don't eat meat, you're going to save exponentially in your groceries because meat is always the most expensive thing, right? So, even for those of you who do eat meat, you're going to cut out meat certain days of the week just so you can bring your groceries down. There's also other alternatives like Aldi and Sprouts and other things. I happen to like Trader Joe's. I can go there and get most everything we need for a little over $200 every single month. How many of you guys eat out on a daily basis? That includes campus. Jack in the Box, McDonald's. How many of you cook? Okay, so some people didn't raise their hand for either. So if you're not cooking, you're not eating out. What are you doing? We're drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> There's no food at all. Like, can't even afford food. I'm good. I got the water crown. Okay. So it is a myth that you that you have to spend a lot of money on your food if that food is organic, healthy, and natural. It is more likely that you are going to spend more money over time eating out. Sure. It seems like getting something for 99 cents is more cost effective. I know. It seems more cost effective. But then what happens when you go home? What happens when you're out? What happens when you're at school? How much money a day does anybody spend eating out or on campus on a regular basis? Do you guys know how much money you spend? $20. Twenty dollars a what? Uh, a day. A day? <laughs> Put it all day. Yeah. No. Oh, hold on, a slice of pizza was three three fifty, so i I believe it completely. I should pass on the pizza. I was like three fifty. Like I'm not buying I'm not buying that. Yeah. Right, so water chips, candies, fries, pizza, just stuff, right? You're on the go, you're in between classes. Uh, you guys have uh, machines here? Right? The machines have what in them? Chips, cookies, snacks, pop tarts. Pop tarts! Love pop tarts. <laughs> Um, so twenty dollars a day. Anybody? Yes. About forty-five. Forty-five or what? A uh, day. Forty-five dollars a day. Eating good. <laughs> <laughs> He's a big boy. <laughs> um, I live in Anaheim. Yeah. I work in Newport, and I go to school here. So 
I'm continuously just driving around in circles, so I don't really like even think about the money at that time. Like I'm just like I'm I'm starving, like I need food now. Right. So I'll pay for full meal like twelve, fifteen bucks. Right. Forty five dollars a day. How many days a week do you do that? Monday through Friday. Okay. You're already spending hundred dollars a week Monday through Friday. We've got you at hundred. Somebody do the math, I'm terrible at math. Forty five times five is what? Don't make me do don't make me do on the board, please don't. Please. Like 135. No, no, that too. Right. Could you do that? If I ask my mom to touch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 